got a question here that uses iron compounds to test various aspects of the specification. So we've got a, a Born Harbor calculation in this question. We've got a lattice enthalpy calculation. We've got some electro potentials. And we've also got a bit of transition element chemistry as well. So I'll go through the question and you have a go and then I'll go through the answers. So we're given some data with enthalpy changes in and first thing we've got to do is complete the Born Harbor cycle. We've then got to define the term lattice enthalpy and then we've got to calculate the lattice enthalpy for iron to iodide using the cycle we've constructed and the data in the table. Now I've got some electro potential information. Question starts by asking some electronic configurations of two ions, Fe2 plus and Br minus. And then using the electro potential data, we have to predict the products of reacting iron separately with iodine, bromine and chlorine. And the final part of the question, part C, we're told we're given lots of information to process. We're told about two reactions that take place. We're given some observations. And we have to construct two equations for the two reactions. So the first part of the question, we're going to use the information in here to complete the boxes, complete the cycle. And we have to write the species present at each stage in the cycle with state symbols. So if you can just ignore the numbers and this arrow, I'm going to talk about that in the calculation in a moment. So the black information is what we were given to start with. So we'll start with this box here. This is the box for the elements. And so we need Fe solid and I2 solid to make one mole of this. So we then jump up to this box here. So the iodine has already been atomized. The iron hasn't. So we have to atomize that. So it's Fe gas plus two I gas. Remember we can only change one thing at each stage in this box here so we've gone to ultimately we've gone to the Fe2 plus ion and the two electrons that have come off these still haven't changed and so the sort of interim step is the formation of the Fe1 plus gaseous ion with its one electron and then what we need to do here in this box is well we've got the Fe2 plus in the gaseous form that we need we need the I in the gaseous form and in its ion form and so we need to combine essentially these two electrons with these two gaseous iodine atoms to form two gaseous iodide ions Define the term lattice enthalpy. Well, that's the enthalpy change when one mole of an ionic lattice is formed from its gaseous ions. And then you can just say, see there, calculate the lattice enthalpy of iron 2 iodide. Well, there's the answer there, minus 2473. I'll go back to the cycle and show you where that comes from. So, all I've done is I've put all the numbers in. So, this is the enthalpy change of formation. This is the atomization of iodine, but we have to double that because atomization is the production of one mole of gaseous atoms, where we're producing two moles of gaseous iodine atoms in the cycle, so we double that one. This is the atomization of iron. No need to double because we've only got one mole in the cycle, so that's 416. This is the first ionization energy of iron. So we know, again, no need to double this. We've got one mole in the cycle. 
second ionization energy of iron and here this is the electron affinity for iodine which we need to double because we are combining two moles of electrons with two moles of gaseous iodine atoms so essentially this minus one one three so we can just say make out the purple arrow there that's one root to go from here to here and the other route is all the way around so we're using Hess's law essentially to say that this root here the enthalpy change in this root here is equal to the sum of the enthalpy changes in this root here so there's one root there's the other root all of that including the unknown so we basically just work out what all this is and then take it over to the other side change its sign and we get the question mark the unknown the lattice enthalpy coming out at minus two four seven three part b starts with some electronic configurations for fe2 plus and br minus so fe2 plus has got two fewer electrons in the atom the atom is 3d6 4s2 and if you remember the 4s electrons are lost before 3d so we lose them and we're left with that. The Br minus essentially is a little bit easier because we're just gaining an electron. So the atom would have been 4s2, 4p5. Well, the extra electron takes 4p up to 4p6. Next part of the question, we've got to predict the product of reacting iron, which is in this system here, separately with iodine, I2, Br2, and Cl2. So basically what we've got to do is compare the standard electrical potentials of the systems. So we'll start with the iodine one. That's got a standard electrical potential of plus 0 0.54 volts compared to minus 0 0.44 volts. So iodine can gain an electron more readily than iron 2 plus. So therefore the iodine will take an electron from the iron and oxidize it up to Fe2 plus. So that's what my little pencil lines here mean. This is going to go from left to right. This one's going to be forced from right to left because of the electrode potentials. We've then got to ask ourselves, could the oxidation keep going from two to three? And in the case of iodine, I2, and the answer is no, because the Fe3 plus two plus system has got a more positive standard electro potential than the I2, I minus one, and so the oxidation stops at two plus. If we think about the bromine and chlorine now, if we look at their standard electro potentials, plus 1.09, plus 1.36, so you can see that they are both more positive than both of these, and so therefore, the oxidation basically keeps going so we'll go for bromine so br2 will take electrons off iron send it to iron 2 plus but because it's higher than um, 0.77 it keeps going and so this one is also forced over to fe3 plus and that's because br2 can still take an electron from a, an fe2 plus ion and take it up to Fe3+. plus. So I've got a, a better answer to that down here. So what I'm saying is basically all three halogens have got more positive electrode potentials than the Fe2 plus Fe. So they'll all oxidize iron to iron 2. So you're going to get FeI2, FeBr2, FeCl2. However, bromine and chlorine are more positive than the Fe2, Fe3 system, and so they can oxidize further, and so you'll get FeBr3 and FeCl3 with those. For the final part of the question now, we're given a lot of information to process and then told that two reactions take place. Reaction one. In acidic conditions, iron 2 plus ions reduce NO3 minus ions to NO, 
iron 2 plus ions are oxidized to iron 3. Water also forms. So from that information, we need to construct equations for the two reactions. So the way I've done it is I've broken it down into the two half equations. So the iron 2 oxidized to iron 3. And so the half equation for that is Fe2 plus to 3 plus plus an electron. And then the other half equation, the NO3 minus ions are reduced to NO. So there's the NO3 minus, there's the NO, and then we're going to construct the half equation. So three oxygens on the left, we've got one in the NO, so we need two more. So we're going to use two waters to supply those. That introduces hydrogen, so we balance them on this side with 4H+. Now all the atoms are balanced, we now need to deal with the charge. There's no charge on this side. We've got 1 minus 4 plus, so 3 plus altogether. So we bring 3 electrons in, and that gets rid of the charge on the left. Now we've got our two half equations. We join them together, or add them together. The electrons need to cancel. So we multiply the iron 1 by 3 because there are three electrons in the other one and only one in the iron one. So the overall equation becomes this. And reaction number two now, ligand substitution reaction of the FeH2O6 2 plus takes place. One NO ligand exchanges with one water ligand. And a deep brown complex ion forms. So if we turn that into an equation, so FeH2062 plus, we need to basically swap one of the waters with an NO. So there's the water that's come out, and there's the NO that's gone in. Now, at first, I was thinking deep brown iron 3 question mark. It's not that. The equation won't balance if you have 2 plus and 3 plus there. So the actual charge of this complex ion is still 2 plus.